Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from pro, college basketball, UFC, MMA, and more. You always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. With live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. Bet Online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and receive a 50% off welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use your promo code BLEAV, B L E A V, to receive your awards. Bet Online. Dot AG, where the game starts, was a proud sponsor of the Boss Man Show on your radio. The Boss Man Show, friend of the show, going to the Big Sky Conference, Eastern Washington Eagles, 10 and 7 overall. It's my man, David Riley. What's up, Riley? How you doing, brother? Doing good. Just uh, enjoying the bye week. Get a little little more time off this week. I hear that, man. Uh, I hear that. Getting the guys some rest, man. It's very important to you. Like I said, in the open here, 10 and 7, man. How does it make you feel so far? It's supporting, supporting the year, bro. Uh, it's been It's been good. Just been watching our guys develop and um we we started off a little slow a little, little shaky oh and three uh getting going and a lot of that just comes with guys playing new roles guys playing uh in a new system the, the transfers that came in and and just taking time to gel the way we play we try to give the guys freedom to make reads and um it takes a little time to adjust to that and and so for us to come out conference four and oh now where we're feeling pretty good um you know we're we're still learning a lot we're nowhere near our ceiling but just to see the the progress throughout the year has been it's been fun to fun to be a part of. No doubt, and seeing you guys beat the Montana teams. I mean, they're always tough to beat. You got did that on the road, beating Danny and and, and Travis on the road. Their their teams always coach well and tough. Talk about that, man. Seeing you guys with being a new team at this early in the year, win on the road there. Yeah, you know, uh, talk about early in the season, guys being in new roles. The the good thing about our team is that. We do have six guys returning. We had three starters returning. And so they've been through the battles before. They, they know what it's like at Montana. They know what it's like at Montana State, the crowd, uh, just the environment out there. Um, and so that week before, you know, those guys are talking to dudes, like guys for getting fouled in practice and complaining about it. It's like, no, we ain't, we're not getting that Montana. That, that, that's, we got to be able to, get, you know, play above that and, um, just the leadership of the guys and, and the fact that we got so much continuity coming back helped, you know, obviously there's different, different roles and all that and, and a couple of new pieces, but um, just kind of the leadership from guys that, you know, even I, I think the big leader in that was Ellis Magnuson, who's, um, you know, hasn't played as much this year, but he's just been around and, and knows what it takes. And and so he was the one who stepped up for us really. No doubt, man. Like you said, have a continuity. And this is that college basketball where you know some teams are new, all the teams that are like kind of the NBA for agency, but <laughs> with the portal, mm -hmm. having guys coming back that know the system, know you, know what, know what you expect, and helping guys simulate into that, man, is very key because a lot of it's trying to find your way, but we got guys who kind of know what to do. It helps in that regard for sure. Yes, no, no, no doubt about that. It makes my life a lot easier. I mean, I hear that. You're also doing a good job in defending the home court, man. Uh, five and one. So, what did you tell your guys about winning the home and defending that home court, bro? I mean, we actually hadn't really talked about it till last weekend. It's just how important it was when, in conference to win your home games. And, you know, if you split on the road, you win your home games, you, you got a good chance to win a championship. And how, so the importance of coming with an edge and a mindset that we're not going to take no for an answer um, was huge. And we came out the right way. We, uh, we, we got, I think we got six, a 16 point lead at one point versus Portland State. 
we had a 26 point lead versus Sacramento State. But now we got to figure out how to play 40 minutes, you know. Sacramento to be up 26 with about 12, 14 minutes to go and then have to win on a game winning shot tells you that we just got to get a, you know, get a little little consistency with these guys and, and understanding how to adjust on my part. Um, and then same thing with Portland State to be up 16 and then and at one point be down six and, and have to mount a comeback is just, you know, getting these guys to understand how fragile games are and, and how big momentum is and what that looks like. And at the end of the day, we got two wins, but there's still so much to learn from. No doubt, Dave. Like, like this is about this brother. Like on the flip side, you might blow them leads, but you want them. But you get experience winning tight, close games before yes. March, which we all know those the, for your conference is what goes on in Boise that matters. So getting the yep. experience playing tight, close games, executing and winning those games. I think why it sucks today is good luck for a win. <laughs> well, the fact you know, hip down the road, looking at it that way. Super true. You know, getting 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 that last time out and having to execute a play and 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 knock down a shot. That's that's invaluable. Because like as fans, I'm sorry, here fans, you can't uh, you can't simulate that in practice, guys. I'm just telling you, that, fans. <laughs> I've been t- no. If I'm telling you this, you can't simulate that late game pressure in practice. It has to happen on the game court, fans. So I fans understand that, Dave. I've talked to him all the time. Some of these situations that you all deal with on the court. That's how many S can be taught in games, not not in, not in practice or in film session. Yep. No, that's 100 percent Different lights are on. <laughs> no doubt. And you got a power five win too against California. Talk about that for your program, getting a power five win, which I was good for the big scouting, any major, major, major conference, get a get a power five road win. No, I think it's it's uh it's something that we we pride ourselves in is, is scheduling as many power five, you know, high level teams as we can in the preseason and, and challenging ourselves because at the end of the day, we want to win the big sky. We want to win in Boise, but we also want to, when we get the March madness is come out and expect to win a game and and do what it takes to make a run. And and you're not going to be able to face those teams in the big sky play. Um, And so we try to get as many of those high major teams as possible and, and, see what we got because I think the way we play with our unique style, we got five guys in the court who can shoot. We're a dangerous team um, to when you, when you play those high, high major teams and um, beating Cal is great. Last year we got Washington state a couple of years before that uh, Stanford and Indiana. And, and it's just something that, um, you know, since I've been here, we've really tried to make that a priority of scheduling those games and, and then hopefully having a chance to, to get a win. And fans may not remember this. You was on staff for that game against Kansas. We all played in this season tournament. I mean, you always up low to the game. You just, at the end, it, tri- it tri- changed on you. But re- pretty much, you all won- had that game. Y'all was winning most of the game. So, folks, this team can beat teams as high major because they've done it before in the tournament. They played against Kansas. The almighty Jayhawks, they had them down. So, it's why she can play some ball, fans. Yeah. No, and, and that – that year where we lost to Kansas, we had played at Arizona. We had played at Oregon, at Washington State. And I just remember that that film session before we went out for the game, it was, okay, We we here's a bunch of clips of us doing it versus Arizona and the same kind of defense. Um, you know, that Oregon's running the same defense that, that Kansas is. We, we've shown we can do this against that kind of length and athleticism. That should give our guys confidence going into that and, and not have the butterflies. You kind of missed it, man. You got seven guys shooting over – from three over 30 percent so you're doing the damn thing with five guys out there shooting the ball man it's a very unique style but it's very fun to be able to shoot threes and had the freedom to shoot threes i know i know when i played it was like hey you shooting corner threes you can't do i was i just suck but like, you know, <laughs> but the fact that you have free guys freedom to do shoot threes everybody can shoot threes man it's really fun man talk about that piece of it how funny is it to get play fast shoot threes how when you're recruiting a young man that perks the ears up i think it's the only way I know how to coach at the end of the day is, is let guys have freedom and make reads and, and be creative on the offensive end. Um, I think when you've got five guys who can shoot at spaces, the floor, you can do a lot of different things. And and we've kind of made of that our recruiting priority it is IQ and skill and shooting. Um, and for what we've lacked in athleticism at, at times, we've made up, made it for with toughness and, and being able to be in the right spots. And um when you start recruiting that way, now you can get a little more creative offensively because you got you got all this space to work with. 
And that's what kids want to do. When you want to play at the next level, you got to be able to make reads. You got to be able to play in transition. You can't be a robot out there running 50 different sets. Um, and if a lot of these guys have have that goal coming into college is, is I want to make money playing this game. And um, I think that's just the easy way to develop it is if you got game reps, being able to be, make reads and, and play in that style. No doubt. You got some depth too, Dave, man. I see you playing with eight, nine guys, man, which is great because some teams are playing seven guys already, and that's not good, burning guys out. So having depth, uh, and we, we don't want them to have more injuries, but they, they have to. Having guys who can play and already experience when it counts, man, playing guys, both the guys, man, to me is very important. Having a nice bench to help complement the starters. You cannot run to the ground. It's a good thing always. That's uh that we we were adamant about that this off season because we we were not deep last year, um and you know that's gonna happen with the with the roster turnover with the new coaching staff and all that. So, um for us to come in and and have guys with with Division one experience coming off the bench like Ty Harper and Deion Stroud and um you know Danny Eric Tripp and, and Cedric Coward are both Division two tran or Division two and Division three transfers and so they've got college experience walking in the door and for them to be come off the bench for us and, and do what they've done is, is just, it's, it lightens the load for those starters. And, and you want to go win three games in a row, you're going to need contributions from nine guys. And that's just, that's just reality. And, and so um, I think they're, they're getting that experience now. I need to do a better job of figuring out how to get their minutes a little more consistent um, because they've, they've earned them in practice and it's been, it's been fun watching these guys work it out. And talk to me about um, Steel Ventures, man. What he's meant to, meant, meant to your program, brother. Uh, man, talk about a, a great story. That that guy's – this is his fourth year in the program. Walked on for two years. Um, you know, didn't play his first couple of years. Stuck it out. Was was grinding in the gym every single morning. Uh, coming back at night before and after practice. Doing all the right stuff. To, uh, you know, took his bot like weight gain and the weight room super serious to develop that side. A, a lot of kids don't want to work on their weaknesses. You know, he knew he's got to get stronger. He loves shooting and he loves working on his game and playing and all that. But he knew what it, if he wanted to take the next step as a player, it was going to be in the weight room. And um, he hats off to him for doing that. And just to watch his progression is such a exciting thing to where he's at now. And I don't, you know. Big Sky Player of the Week, second time this year already. Um, he's had some 30-point games. Like, the dude just does it the right way, plays the right way, great teammate, um, and it's just been fun watching his development. You got a guy from Robert Dick of the Woods, man. Ty Harper got mentioned a little earlier here from the cross. Tell me about that, young man. And you got to get, get a kid from Atlanta to come up there, man, and play for you brothers up there, man. <laughs> hey, man, I, Ty, Ty's going to be so good. Uh, just his mindset and um, – so he brings some stuff to the table that we, we don't have like his, his athleticism and, and the way he can guard the ball and the way he can get to the paint. You know, he does some stuff in practice that just wow you, wows you and, and he's getting more consistent and just our, our style is a, you know, it's, it's new to him and, and he's picking it up and he's in there with our assistant coaches and myself watching film damn near every day. And, and um, once he, once he gets all the, the pieces put together and he figures all that out, watch out and that that's he's one of the guys i'm talking about where i, I gotta figure out how to get him on the court a little bit more and, and because he does some really good things for us no doubt man you got i don't know on saturday tell me about some of those guys on film from, from vandals and what you expect for your guys to do man as you prepare for these guys man um getting our guys to understand how, how good these guys are it's, it's not the same idaho team as last year they've got one of the best big guys in the country um I mean, isaac jones i mean you go watch his Sacramento State game, he's going to get NBA workouts based on that game alone. It, it was impressive watching what he did for Sacramento State. Um, and just throughout the year, I shoot, shooting a high clip. He's scoring from, all, you know, everywhere on the court. Um, he's he's really, really good. And and, and him and their point guard, Moffitt, um, have, have been doing some really good stuff off ball screens too. And just watching those two create for their shooters, they're actually – one of the best, if not the best offensive team in the big sky, just when you look at the efficiency piece of it. Um, and they're just, they're, you know, they got a lot of guys in new place, new new spots this year, and they're just figuring out how to win. They, they're in a lot of games, um, but it's just those little details. And we went through that early in the season, and we, we had three starters returning. So they're 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 got a little more new guys, and 
that's going to be a scary team in March and it's a scary team coming up on Saturday. We're, we're uh, preparing for it right now. I hear that, man. Well, Dave, thanks for your time today, man. Uh, I see it's sunny out there, man. It's dark in Atlanta, but you know, three hours away, but man, I love, we need some sunny in Georgia, man. It's been gloomy here too much, brother. It's sunny, but it's it's a little cold out here. <laughs> I got my jacket on. <laughs> I hear that. Hey, All it's right. 70 degrees here, brother. So but it's raining. It's Ooh. gloomy. <laughs> I'll take that. I hear that, man. Good to talk to you again, man. Best of luck to help talk to you in March again. Going to the big dance, brother. Appreciate it. Go Eags. See you, man. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from pro, college basketball, UFC, MMA, and more. You always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. With live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. Bet online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and receive a 50% off welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, to receive your awards. Bet online. Dot AG, where the game starts, was a proud sponsor of the Boss Man Show on your radio.